today we're going to be doing the header install on the Corvette. We're actually going over to a buddy's shop. He's letting me use his lift, which I think is going to make it way easier. So I, however, forgot my tripod and stuff. So we'll see how it goes. All right, guys. So once you get the car in the air, first thing is to undo these. Go on your axle back. You have some hangers there. You have some hangers there. And then you have your header bolts. And then disconnect your rear O2s. They are the four prong. All right, guys. So this was a total pain trying to... Uh, Apparently I can't talk either. So no, this was just, it was just too much of a hassle to try to film and go step by step with this installing these headers. I will say fitment is really good. So passenger side, you put in from the top. Driver side, I took the factory manifold out through the top uh, I did have to remove the alternator. It just wasn't going to come out the bottom. Uh, the header did go in from the bottom, however, though. All right, guys. So, again, I'm sorry. I, I, I forgot my tripods and my, like, holders and mounts and stuff for my cameras and my phone. So, I completely butchered being able to film, like, a how-to and step-by-step. -step. If you have a basic understanding on how to turn a wrench you can do this um i did have a lift that i was able to use which made it a lot easier uh but i don't i i really don't think that's really necessary so like i said i'm just going to kind of walk you through the steps so as i had an actual clip of went through unbolted the axle back um from the mid pipe then you go up you got your three header bolts that it uh, connect your factory exhaust manifolds to your cat back, your cat pipes, whatever you want to call it. Uh, the rear O2s are the four wire square um, plugs. I believe on the O4s, the front O2s are squares also. So just make sure you, you know, follow, just follow the wire. They run along the heat shielding underneath. There's clips for the rear O2s that hold the, the, rear, the wiring for the rear O2s up. Just undo those disconnect them i just pulled them out i didn't pull the rear o2s out of the pipe at all i did pull uh coil packs just completely off the car um in my opinion the five ten millimeter bolts it takes to get them off is worth it for not having a chance to crack them or break them or something uh just because that stuff does happen uh, i did pull spark plugs out because i did put different plugs in the car um and then wires one thing i would recommend for anyone doing this just have a replace your plug wires when you do this uh, i've noticed ls's have a tendency especially if they haven't been we don't have the car apart or you know the plug wires or have been on there forever they do get stuck you know you, it's really easy to to damage the spark plug wires pulling them out so just get some msds get some oem replacements it doesn't really matter uh, just have a set of spark plug wires. I'd rather have them and not need them or just throw them on for like a tune-up than be stuck with no, you know, seven wires that are good afterwards. Passenger side, super simple. Undo your six header bolts on your head. Um, all mine came out super simple. I know there are guys that have problems with them breaking off in the head. I did not have, thankfully, I did not have any of those issues. Uh, passenger side exhaust manifold came out through the top, bought, you know, the header dropped in through the top and it was, it was, it was simple, real, real simple. Uh, driver side pulley alternator, the factory exhaust manifold on the driver side, again, your six header bolts pull the factory one out through the top. Driver side header goes in through the bottom. There is a, a ground wire a ground strap that goes from underneath the, the brake master cylinder to the block. Um, I was getting caught on that, so I just unbolted it from the block, slipped the header up, 
before I bolted the header back up, I did bolt that ground strap back up to the block. I can see how that would be really hard to get to with the header on. After that, underneath the car coming off the headers, there's two J pipes that come with the kit. Those are what connects to the headers. First, uh, there was one that has an O2 bung, an extra O2 bung welded on. Uh, for a wide band that goes on driver's side the one that doesn't have the OP, O2 bung obviously goes on passenger side then um, From there you go into your X pipe and then um, From the X pipe you put the reducers on and then you do have to cut your factory H pipe I just cut about two inches behind uh, Where the pipe is for the H pipe and it lined up perfect and then from there it just bolts up to your factory axle back or whatever axle back you have uh, as long as that goes into your like a factory style exhaust so and then it's just clamps uh, I did buy a, you know better clamps and came with the kit uh, I still do have a real real small exhaust leak where that reducer is um, and I think it's just because of it going to a reducer and then going to the factory pipe so I think what I'm going to do with that is I'm going to weld weld those reducers to the X pipe and to the where it goes into your factory piping uh, because you'll still be able to get it out if you ever need to pull it out from unbolting it from the axle back and then it would just slide off those J pipes so I'm not too worried about that it would just be a, a longer piece I guess you could say um, I'm gonna do that when I delete the mufflers but otherwise I, I got it I, I'll throw up a, a sound clip I still on stock cam going to stock mufflers it sounds really good car is an automatic but I mean I, I everyone says you know that 15 to 20 horse I believe that I really do I mean you can definitely tell feel a difference it's not like a, a massive massive difference but it, it, you can feel it um, I haven't really got into tuning there's a couple other things I want to do um, before I spend a whole bunch of time on the, on the tune uh, I do have like the codes and stuff shut off for the air pump, uh, the rear, the cats being deleted and the rear O2s, um, but I, I think getting the tune dialed in is going to benefit from these two, um, or it will benefit from getting the tune dialed in. But as far as quality issues or fitment issues, I, I ran into none, um, I had about three hours into doing these, uh, and that's with kind of really just taking my time and you know I you know wasn't a hundred percent focused on this uh, I wish I did do a better write-up on it or better documentation of putting them in but by my being by myself doing it by myself and then also forgetting all my equipment I guess you could say really kind of put a hamper on that and when you get into these things and you just kind of just get going and don't realize like hey I just got half of it done so but Speed engineering long tubes, they're engine seven eights. Uh, you, you can't uh, for for what they cost. You can't beat them compared to other other headers and stuff that are on the on the market for these C fives. No complaints at all. Fitment was real good. Um, just make sure that you disconnect your battery first thing. You don't want to be shoving your your passenger side header down there into the car and arc out on your your power wire going to your starter or something um so just disconnect your battery i mean it like i said if you if you can turn a wrench you can put these on if you i would i would say if you were to do this on the ground you'd need probably um the car about two foot off the ground um would be adequate like i said i, I did use a lift though so um Again, I apologize for not having as good of a video as, on this as I wanted. But if you have any questions, drop them down in the comment. Don't forget to subscribe. Check out some of our other videos. And that's pretty much all there is to it.